Let's see what your story is. Ooh. Oh. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today we're continuing our On the Seas mystery adventure, uh, The Return of Obra Dinn. Uh, last time, we frustrated you to no end with our lack of knowledge about this game, and reminded you uh, very clearly to be, be patient, please be patient with us as we, you know, play a game for the first time in a very different game. And a game that none of us uh, had any, like, idea what we're heading into. And it's fun, right? This is the sort of game, mystery-solving, lore-piecing-together-esque gameplay that is kind of like the essence of what we do, you know, across the channels, right? Uh, so it's really cool. In case you missed part one, basically, this is a game where we are investigating the tragedies that befell this ship. And bit by bit, piece by piece, we are trying to figure out what happened to the 60 crew members. One at a time, who they are, and what happened to them. Basically, it's a giant game of Clue. Or for all the international viewers out there, Cluedo. Which is just fascinating to me that it's, it's a subtle difference that way. But it's like, oh, Cluedo. Um, so, without any further ado, like, really, this is a long game. It is a thinking game. And it's, it's, you know, slower pace. This isn't like mile a minute, like, whoa, ha, huh, fast gameplay. So I'm just going to hop into it. Uh, Ash and I are going to talk through. But I think if, if we have any hope of making any sort of progress and making this enjoyable for you in the slightest, uh, <laughs> you know, we should probably hop into the gameplay so we can make some modicum of solution happen. Let's do this, Matt. But let's. Indeed. Yes. 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 Okay, so when last we left things off, we were uh, solving the mystery of the Kraken. That had attacked everyone, but also now we're down here piecing together the mystery of, like, this guy who's gotten ripped in half while trying to load up a cannon. So let's go back in time! Oh, there's a lot of death. I appreciate... Oh, oh, you, you, oh, you got blasted. Oh, yeah, he got, he got blasted asunder, this guy. Ooh, decapitated from the blast, no less. Just cross the board. See, this is why you always gotta make sure that your cannons are secure, my man. What you doing, guys? This is bad news bears for all of you. Oh, this guy. I'm... We still don't really know who he is, but we've solved other mysteries with him so far. We know he was knifed later as part of a mutiny. Or at least, I'm suspecting it's a mutiny. I'm saying mutiny, I don't know for sure, right? But anytime, oh hey, it's our bud. It's our mystery man. So he was working the cannons. Is that a specific job on board? He's like a, a cannon stuffer. He's got the, the cannon stuffer materials. So is that a roll on a ship? So this guy lost his head. This is the guy who lost his head. He was decapitated by Cannon. Is cannon an option here? <laughs> Decapitated by cannon. Enemy beast. No, 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 wait, no, I want to go back. Hold up. I know he was, he was cannoned to death. I like, technically ex expired is true for all of them. Just saying. He exploded. No, not really. Fell, froze, illness, killed, knifed, poisoned, shot by cannon. I would say blasted with a cannon by accident? By whoopsie daisy? Yeah, by oopsies. <laughs> by oopsies. Like, I don't, this doesn't look like it was intentional. Like, it really looks like this was not... Like, look, by Beast. The Beast cannoned him. Look, there's the Beast arm. Right? This is a tentacle. It's a tentacle coming from outside. So, yeah. So, he was... 
He was blasted with a cannon by a beast. <laughs> right? Kraken used the cannon in bowels, bowels of ship. Is who's underneath that though? Yeah, this is this must be the other guy who died, right? So this is this guy was crushed by cannon, right? This is the other guy. It appears so. Can't really zoom in on his his person, but the fact that he's being listed as a death in this memory seems to indicate that yeah, that's the other one. So this guy was crushed by a loose cannon. Right? I mean, technically... Technically, it was he was crushed by a cannon by a beast. I mean, if, if we're being fully accurate with what happened here... Is it a tentacle? Yeah, you see the suckers? Oh, yeah. The, like, little, uh... Huh. Yeah, yeah, they're there. Yep, for sure. Are we sure that this is the guy who died? Must be, right? Oh, there we oh. go. Oh, I got a shot of his face. Wait, this is different. This guy. That is not him. Hold up. Okay, here. So that's not him. So this is actually wrong. Unknown. We don't know who he... So we haven't met his death yet. So who else died in this memory then? This guy. Where are you at? Oh, memories on deck map. Shoot, I, I'm still trying to figure out like what is the proper way to find out the information I'm looking for. Memory depicted in under the way. He's here. Oh, hello. Is that you? No, you're just cowering in fear. Okay, he's 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 feeling sad. So if it's not the guy who's crushed under there. Did someone? Did he fall out the window? So this is the guy who died over here. Is there anyone? I'm confused. Is it just unknown? That seems seems odd for them to introduce like an unknown thing this early into the game. Just like blasted out the window, because the guy in the back that like is laying down in that like left corner. Yeah. That's someone who's hiding, right? Yeah, he's hiding. Yeah, he's yeah. hiding. So really, even though this guy's like, oh, this is the memory that he appears in, and this is the memory where you have to identify his fate. Was he blasted out the window? I mean, it seems... it is, like, messed up. It, it, right? You, you notice that it is all ruined. It's some, and then this... The, the fact that this is a different guy is, is is throwing me off. Like, that's weird. Like, I thought for sure that was going to be the other death. We just can't find the face of this guy. This guy. Where, where's he at? First memory. Perished in. Picked it in there. Where is he, though? Is this just, a, like, unknown? Is this going to be unknown? Because it feels like it. Yeah, weird. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I am not sure. No, that's not you, apparently. Who? Who am I finding? Hello! Who is a dead body that I'm going to help reincarnate? No, I'm pretty sure it is. Is it him? Yeah. I just gotta do it over here? I, okay, I guess so. Great. <laughs> Follow me! Let's go on an adventure together! Yay! Okay, so he's crushed. Is this the other guy? No. Because that's the one we solved. We kept it. Where is our buddy? I, I don't get it. I feel like we're missing something. There were three gunners. 
or at least three people who are holding the like things to fire off the cannons. Right here, I'm just I'm hopping back to this one because he's here. You got crud. He's lighting the fire. Come on, baby, light my cannon. <sighs> he was also getting ready to light it, and he was ready to camp it in. So, really, we have a lot of people here, all man in the cannons. Is what we've learned. Okay. Oh. All right, let's go back to that weird door and see what's going on with that hidden body. Because I know this is the one that they're like, check out this one, but I'm curious about this guy who's back here, kind of hiding. This little hidey hole back here. Hey, bud. Let's see what your story is. Ooh. Oh, oh boy. Defecated to death. One time I ate too many. One time I ate too many sunflower seeds, and that's what it sounded like. <laughs> because they don't digest in your stomach, it is rough. Uh, all right, so you you got you got. Oh wait, this is ES. So that's that is the artist, right? So he's the artist because he's the one who who drew yeah. the picture, and he got crushed by the kraken. Right? Yeah, it looks I mean, that's, that's like he got crushed against. Yeah. That seems pretty definitive. Let's see how else that works. What are you up to, bud? He's like, what's going on over there? You're having a rough day out, out on the old poop deck, aren't you? <laughs> the literal poop deck. I can't tell who's up here, unfortunately. Oh, hello. Hey, guys. Oh, there's Martin. Everyone's favorite. Ooh, this guy's the, the mate now. We know that this is a mate. He's holding, looks like he's holding two plates in despair. Right, I'm so sad about these plates. Okay. Who is this? How do they die? Okay, so this is the artist. Uh, where's he at? Uh, Edward Spratt. He was crushed by Beast. I feel like that is... Pretty definitive there. I yeah. feel feel good about that one. Thirteen others were present. Oh geez, there's a lot of people on this one. Okay. We also now know, or we have a sus suspicion that this guy. Uh, can I see who it is? He is down. Where? Shoot, he was highlighted. Oh, I can't find him now. <laughs> He's gone. Oh no. Oh, we're supposed to know who this guy is now. Oh no. This kid. Oh, this is the kid who was crushed by a loose cannon. But he is... What did we determine? Uh, you said he steward. was a mate. He is the... F so if Martin is third mate, so this would be third mate's steward. Yeah. Because he's helping. He was crushed by a cannon. Okay. Oh! Wait, what? go back there. What? Who? Um, yeah, the 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 black border's on it, right? Is does that mean it's confirmed? Like we got that? Uh, great question. Is that officially confirmed, or is that just hey we filled in something? I don't know. Cause it, or did we try to like complete it maybe? And it hasn't been confirmed because we have to confirm in groups of three. Right. And. Yeah, so it's see it's so it's still penciled in. So there's a difference in the text. So the text here is typed in. Right. Whereas this is still scratched Yo, in. So when you we, get the three it'll like do a Yeah, we need one more face. we need one more guy who's gonna type typeface it. Okay. Who else? I'm not ready to leave this scene yet, because this scene feels like a valuable scene. They figured out you guys. My plates. Oh, is he taking a little rest? He is. I cannot cannot get to your face. Can I identify you from the boots? 
Because guess what? I've identified, like, the back half of corpses before X. He's got an X. I don't know what the X there is. What's this? Do you also have an X? No, you have 56. Hmm. That seems important in some way. Why do you have a 56? Is that, like, number 56? You have 45. Is this this? 45. Like, is this where they're sleeping? Leonid Volkov? Then what would an X be? I refuse to be identified! Hello. Okay. Oh, this guy. Okay. I'm supposed to be able to identify you, huh? At this point? Shh. Sure. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, game. No, I don't believe it. Okay, so a lot of people... So, okay, what we're learning here is that there are a lot of people who sleep down on the gunner deck, right? And so, just because those other guys are down here doesn't necessarily mean they're gunners. They could just be sleeping down here, and then they wake up when the Kraken comes. And they're like, hey, let's get going. Yeah, this is this guy from earlier. Is there anything up top or no? Oh, there is. Hello, everyone. What we got going on over here? Ooh. What are you, what are you guys doing? What are you up to? Oh. So, what's going on? What? Are you are you? Oh, oh, he's he was brandishing a knife. Good to know. Maybe he was summoning the kraken with his <laughs> with my mis little knife with ritual. His mystical knife. I want to know what happened to the goat. Let's be honest. That's the thing that we really need to know. Oh, hello. You're, you're like a lookout? You, sir, are you a lookout? Or you just just peering off into the distance? I, I don't blame you either way. There is a sparkle out there that refuses uh, explanation, so I understand your, your desire to figure out what's going on over there. Can we see the numbers of the um, the beds where those two guys are hanging out? Which uh, which ones? The because um, there because I can find you all like look. Well, there's all forty eight. Where the guys are by 49. the tables because those two beds are empty. That is true. This is forty one and mysterious. Oh, so you're saying that guy's forty one? Maybe. I I just thought that might. No, be. that's it's a good idea. I didn't mean to press space. So that was not me dismissing the idea. That was me accidentally pressing a thing. But yeah, we could do nope, that. Uh, you're I, done. <laughs> no, I, I think that's a good idea, actually. All right, let me, let me absorb this guy first. Okay. Okay. Where would be the dra where would be the drama in that? Hey, bud. Okay. Oh, where's where's that guy? This guy. What did we say he was? Forty one. Maybe. The feels. Take an injustice at sees yet. I can see that. That makes sense to me. Because you're right, they were closed off. And he is a, what did they say he was? He was a, a topman? A topman. And topman is what exactly? Works on the top of the ship. It's pretty self explanatory, Matt. <laughs> Higher rated seamen specializing in work above the deck in the sails and rigging. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. But they gotta sleep somewhere, you know? They gotta sleep somewhere. We all gotta sleep somewhere. Ooh, hello. Oh, wow, there's a lot of dead bodies. I'm, I'm just getting presented dead bodies all over the place right now. I'm gonna try you. I wanna stay on this deck, kind of. <laughs> oh, no! You're cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Irish? Each, mother, I, I, I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! Brennan! Brennan! Alright. So, we don't know who he is. But... We don't. Are you sure? We're sure we don't know enough about him. Scottish? Irish? They definitely have... I'm not, I'm not good at uh, picking apart my accent. I'm, Stephanie is so good at accents. She would be so useful for this. I'm so bad at accents. Um, what do we have? We have a Scotland. Okay, we have two Scotlands. Three Scotlands. Okay, but one has already been used. So we have a couple Scotlands. That's good to know. Who? Was he talking to anyone? Oh, look, he was talking to William. Captain? No, I mean, like, someone called out for Brennan. Oh, for Brennan, And yeah. I'm assuming it's that guy who's, like, looking towards the doorway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, just a big old pool of oh. blood. So he died very far away. By what? It's because, do you hear? We're supposed to be able to know this guy now. Oh man. Oh, he's just are you just bashing in heads, but this doesn't look like it's bloody. But it certainly feels like you've smashed in a lot of people's faces. <laughs> just saying. Just putting it out there. Escape. So we're in a new chapter. Oh, no. Club? Clubbed. No, I don't, I don't want to absorb another person. I want to explore more. This guy, also barely dead. This guy, definitely very dead. Smashed in the face. By, see this isn't bloody though. So that seems to me, on one hand it's like, I feel like. And we don't know who you are. So this guy, the guy whose face that we now know, that must be Brennan, right? Because here's the captain, calling for this guy, so this must be Brennan. Brennan. Because he's listening. He is listening. That's his listening ear. Yeah, that, right? That's them saying like, oh, oh I heard Br my name. Brennan, <laughs> oh, you called for me, captain. So you must be Brennan. That's my guess. Brennan. 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 He's there somewhere. What? There's Henry, Henry Brennan. Brennan. Woo! Did we get him? Three more? Yeah! Three more fates correct! Woo! Got him! Nice, Henry Brennan! Gotta check off some of those semen. Because uh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of semen in this game. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there sure is. A lot of it. Three more! Great. Awesome. I will take that. Nice. Okay, so now I gotta absorb someone. <laughs> Zap. There we go. I was already there. One step ahead of you, game.
let's continue this mystery, I suppose. What's all this shit, damn fool? Oh, hello. Okay. Oh. There's my buddy Brennan. You had a knife or a gun. Can I identify him as Damn Fool? <laughs> Is the identity Damn Fool already taken? Damn Fool. Topman. Topman. So this looks like he was blasted. This guy was blasted, presumably. And then Brennan's like, no, stop it. Loved by Brennan. Was he blasted? There's a blood trail, though. I feel like if I had been shot in the face like this, there would not be a slow blood trail away from where I was at. I wouldn't be walking too much, let's just say that. Okay, Captain comes down. I was like, no, 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 stop, 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 no. Oh. oh, our buddy was stabbed? Is that our buddy? Stop! Give me more time! I don't understand. This is the one mechanic I will say about this game that I don't quite understand. It's like, why does there have to be a time limit? Like, let me tell you when I'm ready to kind of like move forward. I mean, he was, it seems like he was clubbed by Brennan. He was at the bottom. There we go. This guy, seems like he was stabbed in the back, right? Nope, not ready to do this. Hold up. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. So this one was stabbed. Knife. Knife. By. Still don't really know, do we? We can assume. We can assume it was. No, you have a gun. So it wouldn't have been you. So everything's kind of told to you in reverse a little bit. So it kind of behooves you to almost look at all the stories first. Circle! <laughs> Dramatic! Hey, bud. Okay, and you're coming from the, 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 the storage area. Oh, toilets. Oh man, we're gonna find so many dead bodies in the toilets. I guarantee it. Oh, this room. In this room. Nope. Anything, anything interesting? Nothing at all. Okay. Well, fine. Get off. Captain Cameron. Oh. We have a plan. Yes. Take ship for St. Pete's. Great wretched fish and shells. Wretched fish. <laughs> Might have better luck creating <laughs> non wretched fish. Mutiny! Uh oh. Pretty clear what happened to you. You still got blood going over here, which is interesting. Like, so this is my buddy. He was stabbed by this guy. So the, he's planning a mutiny. This guy's like, oh, there's mutiny. Let's go. Fresh faced. What? Brandon's like, oh man, I'm gonna have to come down and sort some stuff out, aren't I? I like the idea that Brennan is just so fed up. He's like, I'm He's so like, sick of all I'm these I'm gonna guys. march down there myself. Right, come on. Do I have to solve everything? Really? Look, Brennan carries. Brennan. He's he's a champ right now, for sure. How did this guy die? He was, he was definitely shot.
by a uh, gun. By. Do we know our buddy? This point or no? I still don't know this guy. Right? Do we know who you are? No, we don't. You were clubbed. You were shot. And you are hanging out. So we don't know anyone's identity yet, unfortunately. Captain, there's Brennan. Oh. Who are you? Oh, wait, you're the captain. Hold on. Where are you then? You're the... Oh, you're the guy who kind of looks like the captain. But first mate... Right, they do look similar! It's that classic... Age-old pirate nepotism, man. Let me tell you what. Pirates- ooh, hello. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. What is going on here, boys? Oh, you- you just being launched off the side of the boat. Oh, this guy has been doing the most. Right? He's this everywhere. Time. He is everywhere. So wait, Captain here is like, oh man. You're sad. So this guy died by, like, Cutlass or something. Here's the thing. Here's what I think all this is, right? There are separate... There are multiple times where a mutiny is either being planned out, executed, or thwarted. And in this case, I think what's happening is... Oh, they're talking about doing a mutiny. They're kind of, like, spreading the word across the boat. And the captain's, like, slowly trying to quell the insurrection one by one. Right? Yeah. Like this guy, that's what's happening with this guy. Mm -hmm. Like, he probably started it. Let them go! I'll never let them go! Oh, wow, a lot of, man, a lot of people getting, sh whoa, wait. Whoa! Just hauling off! Blaster. Good for you. You go, girl. Well, she been bl she be blasting this guy. He appears in a lot. He's blasted away. This guy, meanwhile. Ooh. Man, we got all sorts of mystery people over here. Meet. That's Brennan. Oh, hello. The captain was getting ready. So the captain shoot this guy? He's got a blood pool here too. Looks like. Or is that his shadow? Oh no, that's his shadow. So these guys were getting in a sword fight. The captain's ready to, to blast a couple folks. Is the lady captain aligned? Seems like it, doesn't it? Huh. 11 others were present. Okay, well. This guy was shot. By a gun. By, okay, how many? Who is that? We don't know. Looks like a woman with a fam. Right? Yes. How many women folk are here? Because at this point, the game has said, you can identify the women. Yeah. Right? It's like, hey, you know who they are. I'm not here to judge them based on their names, okay? <laughs> I see beyond that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Emily. So there's Emily Jackson and Miss Jane Bird. Hmm. How would we know? Why would, the, why would the game tell us that we can figure out who they are at this point? Davy James. I like it as opposed to Davy Jones. Okay, so those are the two, I guess. Wow, that's it, huh? I guess. I mean, I did do a thorough, thorough search, but... Okay, this guy. Gotta catch them all, dead bodies! Ba -da -ba. 
I choose you, first mate James! I mean, the pocket watch is kind of like an effed up Pokeball if you it really think about of, it. It is. You capture their souls. Yeah. It is. I'm gonna send you to my PC! Corpse, to, to train, I choose you! Train with Professor Oak! <laughs> Gotta catch them all! Mutineers! Brennan the Bosun, go! Move quick. Oh. Paul. Yeah, Paul, look out, right? This is Paul. Okay. Hey, bud. So, don't, still don't know who you are, but we know Paul. So, this is Paul. Okay, Captain fires off a warning shot. This guy gets stabbed by Mr. Person. Yeah, this is her. So, if she's. Is she. Is one of our girls related to Paul something or other? Okay, we got him. Paul Remember? seems to be the only one that became identifiable. Right. We're supposed to know who she is, too. That's so interesting. Like, why would we know her? Why would I know you? I don't need this. Get out of here. Okay. So they were stealing the lifeboats, it seems like. Or getting rid of the lifeboats. So this guy. Paulie. Paul. Paul. Hey, Paul. Get out of here, Paul. <laughs> Paul. Yo, Paul. Uh, Paul, Paul Moss? Paul Moss. First mate's steward. Is there another Paul? There's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of unknowns. There Shockingly. are. Yeah, so. That's it, huh? That's our Paul, is our first mate steward, Paul Moss. He was stabbed, sorted, killed with a sword. Killed sword, sword. I guess. I guess that's different than. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I guess it's that's that it. Or knifed. Killed with sword by unknown. We still don't know who he is. Okay. Yeah, I guess the outfits and the sketches can tell us something too, right? Yeah, it's true. Because the um the stewards seem have, to have similar dress. Right, have that gray. Mm -hmm. Well, and also again, if we go back to that picture. The, the location of where people are standing relative to the captain is telling us something. You know? Yeah. Where it's like, hey, we're standing relative to the captain. Here's a steward in his kind of gray. And then here's another steward. No, wait, where's where's the other guy? That, look, that kind of looks like a steward outfit back there, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. Oh, actually, here they are. No. They, they, here, here's the group. Here's the group of stewards. First mate, third mate, and then that guy's going to be a steward too, presumably. Yeah. I don't know how many stewards there are, but by process of elimination, he's going to be their steward. Right. So, Paul is first mate steward. Right. So, steward of um, William. Right? Yeah, correct. Okay. William Stewart. William's steward, yes. And then William is the brother of Abigail. Uh huh. So I'm trying to think. Yeah. Like who the women are? If if William, if someone's connected to William, mm -hmm. or um, that might be how they're connected. To Paul. I'm right. I'm, how just, I'm trying to think of like their relationships to each other and how that might affect how they're interacting. Yep, hundred percent. Right, our women. Abigail. Emily Jackson. Miss Jane Bird. Are there any other Jacksons or Birds on here? Jacksons or Birds. 
Because that was Paul Moss. Hmm. Doesn't really look like it, huh? Nope. Weird. All right. Next. Oh, down in the basement again. Back to the basement. Excuse me, cat. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. You had a... Whoa, you had a rough go. Wow. Wow, lots been happening down here while we've been up, up top, huh? Oh, my. Oh, my. I've been so distracted with everything going up on top. So which which plot line should we be following at this point? Because because we also left the cracking completely high and dry. Yeah. I feel like we start with like a plot, b plot, and now we're on like I know the orange plot. <laughs> right. There's there's a lot happening. There's a lot of routes to go with it. Because right at one point it was like this guy under here we could keep going with. It does kind of like lead you astray. You can kind of like choose your own path, which is kind of nifty. It is. It's very nifty, but it also like can get overwhelming in a hurry. Yeah. Because you're like throwing, you're following like one thread, and then it's like, ooh, I want to explore this other thread, but it's like, no, you can't explore this other thread. Nope, that's locked there. Thank you. And we're doing all this on the on behalf of the surgeon, right? Is that true? If you look at the roster, we're doing um Henry Evans, right? And he shows up on the roster as uh, the surgeon. So we know he's alive. That's true. Yeah. Well, maybe. No, no, totally. Who is Henry Evans? I guess we don't know yet, do we? Guy. Guy looks like a doctor. <laughs> it's giving Henry. He's, he's serving Henry. Right one, he says... Oh, your presence. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but I have to elect it. Yeah, so he has to be alive, right? Yeah. Because we have to send it back to him. So once we know who he is, we can say, like, he's alive. Wait, didn't it say we have to send it to um, French Post Office of Affairs in Morocco? Uh-huh. So. He could just move to Morocco. Yeah. Failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline. So he's alive. Next few pages seem bewildering. Huh. So we, I mean, if, can I tell you what, Henry Evans, I don't know who he is, but I can tell you, I can tell you he's alive. I'm going to put him in as alive. We had this revelation. Right. It was an important revelation game. Let me reveal that he is alive this whole time. He survived all of this. At least give us that. Man, the Kraken. He survived a lot. There's a lot going on in this He's boat. He's seen a lot of things. It's no wonder why his health is failing. I know. That's I don't too blame much him. for one person to withstand. Right? This is this is tough on the heart. Yeah. But this is fun, Matt. I feel like we're these little like tiny detective explorers, and we're just on a big pirate ship, bigger than us. Well, in size, but also in, in like emotional weight. A lot, a lot of emotional weight happening here. Yeah. Okay. Who should I talk to now? Where's my little magic hole? Can I not activate anyone else until I've summoned the... Oh. But there's music. Right, I hear it. Where did it go? Shoot. I didn't follow my smoke cloud closely enough. Oh, here's the smoke cloud. It oh, you... like, I'll wait. Right? I'll I went wait. down here already. I've been down here multiple... I beat you, smoke cloud. Smoke cloud's like, excuse me, I'm taking a very specific path for you to enjoy, okay? <laughs> and we're just like, la di da di da We're like, I know where you're leading me. You're leading me to the next guy, okay? I get it. Now, who is the inefficient one game? Easy now. You're in a bad way. This is squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The that. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that. Does that live for nothing? I agree. It's mysterious. The captain did something weird in the basement. Oh, uh, not the weird stuff in the basement. Yeah, he's doing weird stuff I in the basement. I hate the weird stuff in the basement. Right? 
Okay. All right. Oh, so now we know who this guy is. We're supposed to. Well, he has a French friend. Right, so it's got to be the other... So oh. there's... Who's French? We got Charles Minor. Bozen's mate. French. Where's my Frenchman? Right, where's my other Frenchman? So is it Alfred? What? Why? Well, he was like, where's my... Like, your friend... The French... He was calling for the Frenchman. And he said, your mate is dead. And number seven is French and is listed as a mate. Oh, you're saying mate as in like... My, oh, that's that's true. You're That's ship talk. No, you're right. Oh, like, or like I a thought, romantic... I, part. <laughs> 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 hobby, hobby. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it. But like, you're right. Because I was French like... French lover is Yeah, I was thinking my French lover. <laughs> or like my French friend. I thought that... What it's it, no, you're absolutely right to call that out because initially when that's when they said that, my mind went to oh, there are two Frenchmen on board. Your French friend, your French mate, you know, or yeah, French lover. You're right. Yes, that is correct. Okay. The, so, does that make sense? Yeah. No. So here, let me. Okay, I want. Let me. Let me hear it again. But yes, yeah. I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Oh, this guy gets his head blown off here in a second. Spo oh, no. Spoiler alert, <laughs> bud. You are you are about to meet a terrible fate. Oh, no. You are about to meet a terrible fate. Who else is here? Hello. Ooh, coming in from coming in from below. Coming in from below deck, my man. Yeah, French mate. <laughs> I thought they were just kindred spirits and friends. <laughs> Little did I suspect. Your mate is dead. And what did they say about your mate? Your mate was... He was torn apart by the beast, torn right? Torn apart by the beast. So at least we know that. So this is the bosun. And he was... I guess we don't really know what happened to him, do we? Um, I don't know. Well, he was certainly uh, torn. Right? I mean, he's definitely... like He lost an arm, for sure. Squid's gone. Your mate... Squid... You're in a bad way. The beast is dead. How? How'd you kill it? We didn't. We left. It left in the store. They so chased it off. I mean, it does take a, a pretty mighty power to Ooh. lose your arm. Yeah, it sure do. So to me, I mean that that says he was this right. Electrocuted, expired, exploded, fell, froze, illness, sword, shot, spirit, spike, strangled, struck, torn apart? Yeah, I guess so. I would call that torn apart. By beast? beast? I would think so. Maybe. I mean, it definitely looks, definitely what? looks like beast death. What is a bosun again? Do you remember? Uh, the bosun was, here, I'll pull it up this week. I don't want to. I don't want to misspeak. There's a lot of information here. Because he's wearing that attire that just gives off a more official vibe that it, I might associate with that um, terminology. Yeah. There we go. Foreman in charge of general crew operations and equipment required to sail the ship. Hmm. Yeah. So he's coming up. Captain's coming up. These guys, still not sure who they are. <laughs> we know you get blown off. Okay. Anyone in the, everyone in the toilet? Oh, someone's going to be in the toilet, aren't they? Oh, uh, horrific. Someone heard all of this. Guaranteed. Who else? Captain? Yep. Captain, regretting what he had to do down below. And this is the, the one guy, yep. Okay. Go through. Woo! Waha! It's like a yeah. It's like a Mario portal. <laughs> Yahoo! Four wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. Who is this what befell them? Who is this what befell them? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Okay. 
so X's are deaths, slashes are disappearances. Jeez. All right. We still don't know who... We don't know who a lot of these attackers are. I'm just saying. A lot of, a lot of mysterious entities. Here, let's go back to the, the list. Because the thing is... Because I thought that. It's just... Emily Jackson, Ms. Jane Bird. I mean, who's the younger one there? I mean, I don't know. I feel like Miss, like, at least to me, yeah, is like a younger woman. And then MS Emily. is like a woman who is unmarried, mm -hmm. right? But Miss is like young, young adult. Young. Yeah. That's what I would say too. Right? When I think of like, because I asked you that because I was curious to get your take. Because to me, I think Miss, even though it's the more formal like sounding name it's the younger like it's it, the younger miss. one oh miss miss emily miss yeah. whatever you know whereas emily jackson that's, or, a, sorry, that's a that's a that's a grown woman yeah that's a woman yeah she's always a woman to me always a woman to me okay so if that's the case so what this would be jane right don't you think oh here we go oh 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 hello this is a deduction rating. Oh! Uh. A higher rating means that it will be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Focus on the easily deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. No! <laughs> Hard to disagree. Maybe let's do one more, figure one more out, and then we'll call it? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Got a lot of tea in this episode, though. Right? There was a lot of information. Yeah. I don't know if it was necessarily, like... Didn't do a whole lot of solving, though. Got a couple confirmations. I want to go back to the Kraken, guys. Here. Let's see what's going on with you. Let me ben. on. Over my dead body, you bloody Dane. Dane. How's that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Before I forget, you killed my brother. Okay. What? Oh, man. That was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Oh, jeez. Wow, there's... Oof. there. That was a lot of clues right there. You killed my brother. Prepare to die. So you're... Is that... Is he Danish or is who he talk, was talking right, I need, Danish? I, right, I need to revisit that conversation because that was a lot. The logs are really helpful. They with are. The, with the X next to like the dead person talking. Game changer. Also, we know the ropes killed his brother. He's like, I saw it all, and then my brother did this. Okay, let me on over my dead body, you bloody Dane. So, hey, how's that? No cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Thought I'd forget. You killed my brother. That was an accident. The ropes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Lies. I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. So, get in the boat. And you killed my brother. So, this guy. So, this is the, this is the Dane. Right? I, I think so. Right? We're, we're, correct. we're in agreement about that? Because he's not on the boat. He's not on the boat, and we're talking about life. I mean, he's on a boat. Again, let's, on, let's be clear. There are multiple boat, boats. But not the boat. He's not the boat, which is the lifeboat. Yes. Right. And so he's on the boat of death. Correct. Yeah, he's on the boat of death, so he's the Dane. Does Oprah Din mean anything? Hold on. I know, right? Okay, oh, shoot. No, sorry. Oh, I keep... Okay. No, I'm not ready for this. Okay. Get back. So, Danish. Who 
could be this guy, right? He was club by uh, by someone with a brother who died. You killed my brother. So who has a brother? You know it's one of two. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, I'm gonna have to like brothers. It'd be great if they were like listed in alpha like if I could list them in alphabetical order. Oh, the dream. Right. We can we can strive. Bottor Peters? Peters is a shared last name. Scroll down. More. Where is it? More. I just had it. Nathan there it is. Peters. Nathan Peters, yeah. And then Peters is the last one as well. Last. Yep, okay. Do we know? We don't know who. We know one of them died from the rigging. It was an accident, the ropes. Do we know where. Have Nathan we Peters? seen anyone die from the ropes? Right, have we died? By one of the Peters brothers. We know he died from one of the Peters brothers. We just don't know which one. Can we know which one? So who died by rigging? We're not sure. Yet, I guess. We've seen a couple people wrapped up in ropes, but... <sighs> we have. No, like, confirmed, like, identity from it, I don't think. Right, it's it's interesting, and I'm a bit, I'm a bit conflicted about the way to solve this, right? Because on one hand, I really want to solve it as we go, so you don't have as many lingering threads, and as people's faces become clear, it's like, oh, I have the clues that I need. I should be able to put this together. But at the same time, I worry a lot because you're doing things with such half information the entire time until really, what to me, as someone who loved doing those logic puzzles growing up, like. I would want almost all the information to begin with and right. then just like, instead of trying to piece it together and not knowing what I don't know, reading through it all and then bit by bit chipping away at it. Yeah. So it's tricky because I'm, I'm of two minds of it. Like you want to solve it as you go, but also part of me is like, well, but then I'm constantly solving information with half, like I don't know how much I'm, I don't know. You don't know what you don't know, right? So true. So true. <laughs> it's tricky. I mean, I imagine that, like, this format of mystery solving mm -hmm. is very rewarding at the end. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. Like, once you figure out, like, a key piece of information yeah, and you make that connection, it you're going to feel like the coolest dude in the planet. Yeah, 100%. But, you know, in the moment, it's like, huh, wow, yeah. am I dumb? <laughs> right. A little bit. Yeah. But it's also fun. Oh, it's good. I mean, it's great. Here's yeah. the thing. I think this is a great game. I think this is awesome. I don't, I don't know that this is satisfying, like, content, content <laughs> is the thing. There's a, and this is one of those things that, that I talk about a lot and that I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty well aware of is that, that there are games that are fun to watch and then there are games that are fun to play. Right. And not always are they the same thing, right? There are terrible games that are fun to watch. And there are terrible, and there are great games that are terrible to watch. Yeah. I said that right, right? Yeah. No, you did. Yeah. And. Right? And, right. There are terrible yeah. games that are fun to watch, and there are great games that are terrible, terrible to, watch. to watch. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And, and that's what it is, right? And, and there are also games that you watch for different reasons. There are some games that you just want to watch people be super proficient at and yeah, like, that's the League of Legends. Like, you want to watch the people who are just, like, esports pros, and there's a, a satisfaction of just high level of gameplay. Watching a low level of League of Legends gameplay is not great. No. You know, that's, that's terrible. And so you have to be top, top in order to watch it. Then there are the games that are really fun to solve along with someone and watch them puzzle solve, and maybe that's what this one falls into. Right. And then there are ones that are just, like... And, and as the player... It's, it's an interesting give and take, right? Because there's also, 
you want to be good enough to solve things quickly, but not, you know, you, you don't want to be frustrating, frustratingly slow with solving things. Right. It's a, it's a tricky needle to thread. Yeah, it's sure. a hard balance to strike. It is. And I hope that um, y'all as viewers see the opportunity to comment like questions and things that you're pondering but right. not spoil the mystery right because that's the because that's the other thing too is playing this game the answers are very easy to get it is i'm sure on a spreadsheet that is available and you literally just go do, 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 done and that's the game right yeah. and then you what what was it the uh, we have gained nothing you have learned nothing you have you've solved nothing. nothing you've solved nothing you've... yeah um though i have heard from like you know, things that I've seen online where it's like, don't look up answers. Yeah, of course. Don't do it. Um, like, this game, I think, is designed to be very hard. Like, it will push your deductive reasoning skills. Yeah. Um, but, you know, does that translate to the kind of, like, content value of, like, this is... Game just kicked me out. Game I just... Just, uh, uh, just, give me, just give me the boot. Uh, uh, like, <laughs> you've, been, you've been standing still for too long. Weird. That was weird. Huh. Yeah, game just gave me the boot. Dang. And right. the star is still twinkling. And the star is still twinkling. I'm assuming that's the end game bonus, right? Maybe. Or maybe that's um the uh the French post office. That right. Send it there. Yep. Yeah, there it is. To Morocco you go. Huzzah! Huzzah! End game. Yeah, so anyway, I think it's great. Uh this is absolutely the sort of game like and I like I love having you here. I also want Stephanie here, yeah. honestly, because I feel like a couple people come together and like, you know, some people see, th it's like when you solve an escape room yeah. and certain puzzles click with certain people faster. Yeah. Like when I played The Witness with Stephanie, which is a bunch of, it's basically just a bunch of mazes and all the mazes have different solutions and there are clues in the environment and there are different ways of solving them. And it's great. If you've never played The Witness, it is fantastic. That is one of those games that I think is phenomenal to play and probably terrible to watch which is one of the reasons why i did it personally rather than doing it online for you guys because it's literally solving mazes and there's a lot of just like headbang moments and try like there are moments of trial and error and like it's really frustrating i think it could be really frustrating to watch someone but steph and i sat on the couch together and there were some puzzles that i'm like i got this you know and i was able to just see them in a much my thinking style worked in a different way than hers did and there are other ones where she's just like oh yeah it's this and I'm like, how did you figure that out? Like, how did you see that? And she's like, oh, yeah, I got this. So, again, it's complementary puzzle solving styles, which I think same with you. Like, I think the three of us combined would be really good at kind of like cross-referencing and solving these sorts of things. Yeah, this feels like a thing where you're getting so much information at once that yeah. if you have three different people who will remember different pieces that, yeah. of information more than others, right. like, that seems like a good way to power yeah. through it. And this is also one, too, where, again, not great content-wise, but from the standpoint of, I would want, like, it feels like I should be writing stuff down. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that the game has, like, a bookmark feature, you know, and all the things that you can cross-wrap. I feel like this is just pencil paper. Like, literally, like, Danish, mem memory three, Danish guy, brother, Peter. Like, because we don't know which Peter's brother it is, right? right. Or whatever. I think it was Peter's. Yep. But we don't know which one. But... I guarantee, like, it's that when we find the clue that says it, we, you know, right? Oh, brother died of rigging. So, you know, Peter's Peter's rig. And there's nowhere in the game to write that. Yeah. It feels like the sort of, it feels like an old school pencil and paper game to solve. It's, it's cool. It is cool. I think, unless, I, I think that we just kind of call it here. Okay. I think. Yeah. Um, if there is an overwhelming, no, I, I kind of want to play this on my own. <laughs> We'll talk about it. This might be our last upload of it, just so that way, like, we can collectively enjoy it without having to, like, perform Worry it. Worry about, like, content. Yeah. Because here's the thing. Like, if you're in this space right now, you are in it to win it. Yeah. Like, right. I'm it, in. Yeah, there's no, there's no world where I'm, like, cracking jokes or, like, ha ha, funny gameplay. It's, like, it's literally, like, no, okay, I'm, 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 I'm fixated. I'm yeah. You are right to call out this game as a game. That is perfect for me. I love it. It's yeah. great. This is the sort of game that I would play on a Friday night with Steph, you know? But is this a game that I would, this is not a game that I would normally be like, oh, yeah, this is a clear slam dunk for GT Live. Similar to the, the Rusty Lake stuff where it's like right, us yeah. clicking around solving puzzles. It's satisfying and it's mystery solving. And you're right. Like, that's the sort of games 
that our channels naturally gravitate towards, but because they are so heady and so logical that it's, it's you know, it, it, it forces you to put the performance aside and, and, and the, like, fun, engaging content aside and, like, interacting with you guys and interacting with each other and just being like, okay, let me keep track of, like, the 50 different details that I just got. Yeah, there were moments where, like, I was trying to start something or Matt was trying to start something, yeah. but we were both so, like, yeah. lean forward into the thing right. that it was harder to do that. Yeah, um, that's interesting. Anyway, let us know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm curious. I will hold off on playing it for a little bit to see if you guys want more of it. Because I could see you being engaged, but I could also see you being bored out of your mind. So let us know down in the comments below. Uh, and as always, friends, thank you so much for watching. And remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!